may not follow all the skincare rules, but like, we're all right. What's up beauties, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. I am coming to you with purple hands today because I just finished dyeing a wig that you guys will see that video very soon. But I didn't use gloves. I'm paying the price now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so don't mind my hands. It's just hair dye. It'll come out eventually. Today I am doing my February favorites even though we are about a week into March. Um, sorry it took so long, but we are here and I have got my February top five for you guys. Let me know in the comment section if you end up liking this top five video and you want that for the remainder of the year. I'll do that. Cause I love short and sweet, but y'all know I just talk too much. Like now, let's get on with it. Come on girl. So you guys know I have been in love with colored contacts and it's not that I don't like my natural uh, eyeball color, cause I do, but um, I'm blind as a bat and my prescription and contacts are actually expensive. So when I do get the opportunity to work with brands and they are providing contacts for me, I'm like, thank you girl. Baby girl can't see. Okay, I cannot see. I think I told you guys this previously, but I'm like a negative seven in both eyes. Got astigmatism in this eye. We're just doing a lot. <laughs> We're doing a lot and we can't see. Now I've tried all types of colors. I've tried the grays, I've tried the greens, I've tried the browns, all that. And I've learned that a lot of the times the greens and blue hues just do not look good on me. They just don't. I need to stick to the brown group. Um, those look the most natural if I am going to do a color. Hopefully you guys can see the contacts I have in right now. But these are actually not prescribed. So these are more of a cosmetic lens. These contacts are from Iris Beauty. I have tried them before and I tried their elixir green on the website you are able to see like what the contact is supposed to look like on a model with whatever eye color you have versus what it's gonna look like um, but it just did not it was very neon on me and I was not a huge fan and so I was like love the contacts they're super comfortable and I love how they feel and everything like that and I love the color just not on me it did not go with my skin collection very well so Thankfully, they were willing to work with me in getting another color. So the second color I ordered are Pure Brown, and these have more of a softer, like, dough. Like, you know, like, cookie dough? Like, chocolate chip cookie dough? You know that color? It's like that, but with a little gray splash in there, you know? I'm kind of feeling it. In the side, you do get a contact case, which is great. I literally have 500 of these laying around the house. Like, everywhere I turn, it's a contact case. And then the contacts do come packaged in their own little individual cases. So, like I said, I really do like the comfort of these lenses. If you are looking for colored contacts that are FDA approved and safe and good for your eyeballs, um, I really do like Iris Beauty. I will say, when I got the neon lenses that I wasn't really feeling, they fit my iris really, really well. And those were Okay, motorcycle. The elixir green that I got were prescribed and I wasn't sure if that had anything to do with the wait, wait, the DIA? Is that the, I think that's what it is. Or the BC? Shoot. <laughs> I'm not an optometrist. I just know there's like measurements with eyeball, okay? But those match my iris like perfectly and these are a little bit wider than what my iris is, which I don't mind. You obviously can't tell from here, but if you're like way up close, you're like, girl, that was a little big. Overall, I do like them. So I will have all of Iris Beauty's links in the description box below if you guys wanna check out some color contacts. Just know if you do need a prescribed lens, they do not have all the colors in every prescription. So like I said, they did not have these in the negative seven that I am. So these are just cosmetic and they are not prescribed at all. Now next on my top favorites is the new face wash I've been using. Now my girl and my man, <laughs> my best friend Jess and Lee make fun of me because sometimes one, yes, I'll sleep in my makeup. I get tired. I'm sorry. I suck. I know. I do it. Um, also, sometimes I use body wash to, to wash my face. I do. Y'all want to update with skincare, like honest update with skincare because this is it. Um, I also still use St. Ives. You know, people have canceled them. They say they make little tears in your face. But honestly, my skin looks good. Let me flex real quick. Let me like Maybe underneath the surface, it's like not there. Maybe, that might be the case. But um, what I can see, I think my skin looks pretty good and it looks healthy and it feels healthy. So you know, I may not follow all the skincare rules, but like, we're all right. Um, but the new face wash I have been using is actually for your skin, your face, facial cleanser. This is from Bliss. It's the Rose Gold Rescue Gentle Foaming Cleanser for Sensitive Skin. I definitely think my skin it used to be super, super sensitive. Your girl had eczema and bumps, but I feel like my skin's not as sensitive as it used to be, but sometimes I do 
will still have like random breakouts of things like products and stuff there's probably something in there that my skin does not agree with that I don't know of but this is for sensitive skin and it's definitely a very gentle like foaming rose gold some I don't know I just feel really like royal when I use it rose gold which is I don't know I do like to use this to wash my makeup off it uses about takes about two pumps to get all of my makeup off um, and it works pretty well sometimes you know I will use cleansers I try and get the makeup off and then they're still like black under my eye and I'm like using Vaseline to get it off and it's just a whole mess but this stuff actually works pretty well for makeup remover and just cleansing your skin and feeling rejuvenated and rich and royal you can find this at Target they might also have it at Riley Rose do they sell Bliss? I think they do or is it Sephora? All of them? I don't know. But I know it's a Target. I saw it in Target. Um, so I will have that link below if you guys want to check it out. Pick it up. Third on the list is the fragrance I've been wearing. Oh my god. I got this from Sephora. You guys saw it in my Meshki Valentine's lookbook. I sprayed two little seductive sprays, you know? This is from Dolce & Gabbana. This is called... You asking the wrong person, girl. Um, I want to say it's three... No, lim, le, le, imperatrice, imperatrice, le imperatrice, le, lemon pear and trees. No, I'm just kidding. Yes, this is what I've been using. I'm sorry for butchering the name. I'm so sorry because I know it's probably really elegant and I can't say it, but it smells so good. It reminds me of my cousin's house. Y'all know that one smell that's just like from your childhood and you just loved it? My cousin's house always oh, smells so good. Then Hurricane Katrina came through and washed it away. That's so mean. Oh, but it smells so good and we love this too. I shower myself in this. Like when I spray it, it's not a little ch, -ch in that video. Y'all just saw a little ch, ch but really it's just like ch 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 So in a creepy way, well like non-creepy but kind of creepy, if y'all want to know what I smell like all the time, it's this. Go to Sephora, pick it up, spray it, cop it, get a sample if you want to, then go back and buy it. <laughs> this is the Dolce & Gabbana 3 that. I have a link below. <laughs> Alright, we got two more. For food, I've been waiting for this to tell you guys. I told you on Instagram. Go to Red Robin, get the Whiskey Barbecue, oh shoot, what is it? Bourbon, uh, I don't know, it's like Whiskey and Barbecue Burger? Bourbon Whiskey Barbecue Burger, something like that. Oh my gosh, it's to die for. You gotta get that with the sweet potato fries. Get that little seasoning stuff they got on the side sitting by the ketchup. Do a little sprinkle. You're in heaven. You are in heaven. I was sleeping on Red Robin. I was mad at myself. I was like, where has this been all my life? <laughs> and you know how some things on the menu have the little picture next to it. It's like chef's favorite or like visitor's favorites or whatever. It's one of those. And normally that doesn't mean anything to me, but I understand why people like that burger. So once again, Everybody, Red Robin, let's have a meetup at Red Robin, okay? We're all gonna get this barbecue burger. I got the onion ring tower too. Yes, we like to make out with each other after we've had onion rings. Get you a man with this <laughs> too. So gross, but yeah, Red Robin. And then for music, definitely Kehlani's While We Wait. Shout out to Kehlani, that's my girl, that's my boo thing. Um, and her baby bundle coming soon. Um, that's just an incredible, I think it was a mixtape though, was it an album? mixtape but so good footsteps is my favorite song sis did that like she really every song she put her heart and soul she's like i'm a mom now and i got a word and you gonna listen and we did like we we live for it kaylani we really do so those are all of my favorites my top fives for february please let me know any of your favorites let me know in the comment section below i'll be sure to check those out and maybe they'll make it in next month's video i apologize for this being like a week late but February was short, okay? <laughs> so I love you guys. Make sure you are subscribed and turn on the bell notifications and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye y'all.